Congresswoman Donna Edwards of Fort Washington represents Maryland's 4th Congressional District comprising portions of Prince George's and Montgomery counties. Now that's right outside Washington, D.C. It borders on the District of Columbia. She was sworn into as a member of the House in the 110th Congress in June 2008 and then began her, began her first full term in the 111th Congress in 2009. Uh, Congresswoman Edwards has enjoyed a diverse career as a nonprofit public interest advocate and in the private sector as NASA's Space Lab project. Uh, just prior to serving Congress, she was the executive director of the ARCA Foundation in Washington, D.C., an organization whose mission is to advance social equity and justice. Uh, Congresswoman Edwards completed her undergraduate studies at Wake Forest and received her JD from the University of New Hampshire School of Law. Uh, and she's also the proud mom of a son who just recently graduated from college. She's a, uh, very devoted to the arts, and it, thanks to her hard work, uh, this is, has been made possible. So it's my pleasure to introduce Congresswoman Edwards. Thank you all very much, and welcome to Washington. It's really so wonderful to have you here, and I am so excited to join my colleague, Congressman Lance from New Jersey, as um, co-sponsors of this year's art competition. What that means is we uh, lend our names and our support and our staff uh, to the good work of bringing you all here and having your art displayed in the uh, tunnel of the Cannon Building. And thank you so much to all of our to our sponsors, also to the um, uh, to the institute, because it means so much that you are able to, as artists, to display your work here at the United States Capitol. And you should great give get great joy and pleasure from that, as well as your parents and your mentors and your educators. Art is especially important to me. I have a a mom who's an artist and um, my son who's an artist. What I know is that when he was in school, um, uh, particularly in his middle school and high school years, that for him his art, and he was a studio artist, he did uh, ceramic art, uh, for him his art was a way both to express himself um, but also it really helped him to keep the kind of discipline and focus that he also needed in his academic classes. And I know that many of you probably find the same thing. Um, I will tell you that as a member of Congress, uh, when all kinds of other things are going on here, some of it you read about in the newspapers and some of it you watch on television, don't believe any of it. Uh, but uh, the greatest joy that I get, and I know that uh, Congressman Lance will say the same thing, is when we walk through the, tu the uh, Cannon Tunnel, and both of our offices are over in the Cannon Building, but we walk through that tunnel, and just as I did just a few minutes ago, and I, I look from you know, one state to the next to see all of the wonderful work that you've done and is displayed here in the Capitol, and it just gives me great joy no matter what the day, it gives me great joy. And each time over the course of this year that I come through the tunnel, and that's many, many, many times, I just see something new and different, even when I've looked at the same piece of art many times before. And so um, I hope that you take the pleasure in knowing that you join uh, your peers from around the states and those who participated in this uh, art competition over the years and having your work displayed here at the Capitol. And you are such a wonderful, tremendous representation of your states and your communities, but really of yourselves. And so I want to, one, say welcome to Washington. Thank you so much for allowing us the privilege of having your art uh, displayed and know that you are giving me and my colleagues and those who go through those tunnels every year uh, such great pleasure. And I hope that you enjoy your time here. I know that some of us had an opportunity to spend quality time out on the steps of the Capitol in the sun, and I appreciate the quality time. But um, this is a, a fun time for you, and you will take it back to your communities, and you will take, and if you are budding artists and you are, are growing as, as an artist, you will look back at this time with such amazing joy and wonder and know that you are among a select few uh, from across this country who joins us in the, cannon, in the, in the tunnel uh, between the Cannon Building and the Capitol. 
and that you proudly represent your community. So thank you to all of those who've helped to get you here um, at whatever level and to all of those who are here at the Capitol, the architect of the Capitol, uh, the, um, our, our Congressional Institute, and all of those who support the work that you do and who value you and the contribution that you've made. And with that, I think that part of my job is that I've got to go vote. Take care. Well, it's, uh, Congressman Lance is here now, too, so I'm going to introduce him right away. Uh, Congressman Leonard Lance uh, from New Jersey was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in November 2008 and re-elected to his second term on November 2, 2010. And he represents New Jersey's 7th Congressional District, which includes Hunterdon, Middlesex, Somerset, and Union Counties. Uh, prior to coming to Congress, uh, Congressman Lance served as a member of the New Jersey State Senate beginning in 2002, where he represented the 23rd Legislative District, and he held the position of Minority Leader of the Senate from 2004 to 2008. Uh, he's long been a supporter of the arts, Congressman Lance has been a member of the New Jersey Council on the Humanities and a trustee of the Newark Museum, the McCarter Theater in Princeton, and the Centenary College in Hackettstown. And I also know he happens to have done a little artwork himself here and there. Um, he is married to Heidi Rohrbach, and they have a son, Peter Frank, a recent graduate of the University of Wisconsin. The Lances reside in Clinton Township, Hunterton County in New Jersey, with Fritz, their 100-pound yellow Labrador retriever. Please welcome Congressman Lawrence Lance. Uh, thank you very much, Mark, and uh, good afternoon to you all. I'm very pleased to be with you and to congratulate the young people whose uh, works of art now grace the uh, tunnel between the Cannon House office building and this building, the United States Capitol, which I believe to be the most famous building in America. Uh, I'm honored to be uh, the Republican co-chair with my a colleague, uh, Democratic Congresswoman Donna Edwards. Uh, Donna and I uh, have worked extremely well together, and uh, I believe that she has done a terrific job. Uh, despite what you may read in the newspapers, ladies and gentlemen, very often here in Washington, we do work in a bipartisan capacity, and certainly uh, there is no greater function than uh, our joint uh, chairmanship of the art competition. I congratulate all of the students on your remarkable accomplishment. Um, because of your artistic talent and creativity, uh, your artwork will join that of high school students from across the country uh, in the Cannon Tunnel. Uh, thousands of people, uh, members of Congress, staff, visitors to the Capitol, uh, not only from this country but from abroad, will be able to enjoy your artwork all year long. Uh, today you become a member of what is really an exclusive club. Since the competition's inception, roughly 30 years ago, uh, 700,000 high school students have participated. Uh, it is worth noting, I think, that renowned artists from around the world have not had the opportunity and honor that you are having by exhibiting your artwork uh, at the U.S. Capitol Complex. Uh, and let me state that I firmly believe that many of the young artists represented here today will become celebrated and renowned artists over the course of your lives, and that is uh, something to which you should certainly aspire. Uh, it is an honor for you personally, but I also want to congratulate your parents, guests, the art teachers who are among us and, and uh, those who have been involved in your young lives uh, to encourage you regarding your artistic talent. Certainly, I thank Congresswoman Edwards and her staff and, and my own staff for their participation, for Stephen Ayers, the architect of the Capitol, and for those who have worked with him, for Mark Strand at the Congressional Institute. I understand you will be in, involved in programs this afternoon, including uh, I believe a workshop from Mansa Musa from West Orange, New Jersey, who is a visual and performing artist and art teacher. 
and uh, I believe he is associated with the Newark Museum, one of this country's great art museums, and I was honored for many years to serve as a trustee of that museum. Uh, Mark, in his remarks, uh, will be uh, speaking of the vision of many of us in Washington who believe that this should be a country that is known not only for its prowess in business and in the military, but also for uh, works of art and for civilization in general. Now, that is a paraphrase from John Kennedy, delivered at Amherst College in the autumn of 1963 at the groundbreaking of the Robert Frost Library at Amherst. Uh, uh, Mark, who uh, is much more eloquent than I, will, will quote, quote directly from uh, John Kennedy, but uh, the uh, uh, gist of the remarks spoken uh, almost 50 years ago uh, was that uh, the United States of America should be known for its civilization, and certainly the work that you do in your classrooms and your great talent further that noble goal. Uh, when uh, uh, the ceremony occurred at Amherst on a brilliant autumn day in October 1963, there was also the unveiling of a portrait of Robert Frost, the great American poet, by an artist, James Chapin, one of the great portraitists in this country's history, uh, and a great artist whom I knew when I was a small child. Uh, he continues to inspire me as do all of those here in our nation's capital who uh, wish to be part of the larger work of making sure that the American civilization is respected across uh, the world. I congratulate each of you for your enormous accomplishment and your work I will enjoy every day as I cross uh, from Independence Avenue uh, underneath the street from Cannon House office building where my office is located uh, to the Capitol itself. Please, as you are in Washington, recognize that together we share the experience of the American uh, century, the 21st century, when we hope that our country will be known for its civilization in the tradition of all of those who have espoused that over the course of our more than 200 year history. Thank you for coming to Washington. Good luck to you all. Keep up the fine work, and I look forward uh, as a patron of the arts to viewing your work as you continued in your inspired lives. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.